the end of the tag game and plot twists were happening left and right last last episode. So who actually gave the letter to Ho? It's seemingly like Hwarion, the red haired girl, and Yu Han Sung. At least it's what the anime seems to be directing because as soon as we mentioned that, two faces were immediately shown in consecutive sentences, right? It was Hwarion into Yu Han Sung. I can't really make the connection on why Yu Han Sung would want to do something that's bad for Bam, even though he's trying to smuggle him in, but maybe there is an ulterior motive. And at the end of the day, it's to get Rachel out of the game. Why? I don't know. I don't know why Hwarion went for Rachel at the end of the, you know, the crown game either, but something is wrong there. The person that was beside Rack, I think his name is Ghost, straight up disappeared like a ghost when, get, when Rachel got stabbed. So Ghost is either just like a separate, like a non-existent person that existed as a contract as to serve as an extra life. I'm not sure, but rest in peace, Ghost. And now we are going to wrap up the season. We have four episodes left. There should be like one more big test to finish up the testing tutorial. Let's begin today's reaction. The slow turtle, Mr. Ghost. He's never said anything. Said nothing, ate chocolate, disappeared. He was already with Rachel. I don't think anyone believes that it's Michelle, it's Rachel. Laude! Who's that voice? Haryun? Why? Why is this girl so mysterious? She doesn't even want to advance this point. Passing this test doesn't matter to her. She's almost like a secret proctor that's working with Yuhan Sung. I don't know, but she's done her job. It's like, at this point, it doesn't fucking matter anymore. Why? What? Is, I need to know more. Already worrying us about Ho. Did you send a letter? Were you working with Yuhan Sung? The letter. Swaps. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is the letter. He puts a letter in the bag, and then another letter comes out and gets hidden underneath here. Something else is going on here with Kuno. Copy letter? A fake letter? And he did warn Quant, and Quant said, right? Quant literally said, it fucking makes me mad. But he was right again. That's what the direct reference was last episode. But Rachel got involved, and now Bam is kind of hurt. So I guess Kuno is a little upset. Yuri! What the fuck are they sitting on? Some big ass monster. Every time we go to Yuri, basically, Evan's gonna get shit on. They're always gonna be stuck as some kind of passageway with these stairs, and Evan's gonna get berated by Yuri is the entire time, bro. Jesus. Where is your daddy? R Rack has a son? No, but that's a spear though. <laughs> he shrunk him? <laughs> Bobhead is pretty petty just like me. He took that personally. <laughs> Rack showed up. <laughs> Oi, you small, I don't see you. Get the fuck out of the way. And he's like, you want to play this game? All right. Yeah! Honestly, this is better, I think. Because like Rack being huge, there, there is some like, I don't know, just like the mobility and, and, and issues. But like this also makes him cute. I'm sure he's going to be able to revert to original size when we fight. But like when it's like downtimes, right? Having a small rack like this, I think it's pretty cute. And it could be even better for merch sales. Yeah, Black Turtle is going through emo. Because of Rachel. Rack is right. Rack does have moments of brilliance like this where his simplicity just rips through Kun's, I guess, cunning. You know what I mean? Kun's trying to like justify in his own head and why this can't happen. But Rack's like, you don't actually believe that. So Oh, what's the great rack Wraith Razor gonna do? The Black Turtle. So, 
ラヘルが歩けなくなりました It's very fucked up that I feel good about this, but I feel good about this. There is nothing funny about people being paralyzed from the waist down, but Rachel is a, such a shitty fucking character that I'm kind of happy about this. Really? I'm climbing the tower still. I'll be Rachel's legs. Bro's gonna lift the fucking wheelchair off the top of the tower, bro. He's gonna be lifting the fucking wheelchair. Rachel, can you see the stars? Can you see it? Oh, just kill me! Oh! Stop simping! Even Kun's wavering! Alright. He's like a turtle. He can't. It's funny. He's a literal turtle right now. Bro can't fucking get back up when he got flipped over on his shell. We drinking? Serena drinking with Shibisu? I think Serena might retire, man. Ho, fuck you. Don't care. Friend? Bro was not a friend. Take those chocolates back. Take those fucking chocolates back. Don't waste it on Ho, bro. Fuck Ho. I don't care. We are way too nice, man. Yeah, there's Rachel's wheelchair. Is is anyone actually sad about Ho's death? Like, 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 straight up. Like, is anyone honestly here sad about Ho's death? Is it just are we? We're having an actual kampai saying, guys. I know that the team morale is super low right now, but we need to move forward for Ho, our dear friend. It's like, am I watching the same show? Am I? Everyone here is too fucking nice. Serena only felt that way. Because she realized how much of her life was wasted and couldn't follow the dreams. I don't think Serena, honestly, her entire speech was based on the limitation of oneself and looking at young people achieve their dreams. I don't know, bro. Like, how fucking still an L character? Fuck him, bro. Kampai. He's actually pushing her chair now, huh? We're literally her wheelchair pusher. I don't know if I like the development of this story right now, man. Probably her lack of mobility now? No, it's something else. Okay, let's hear it. Let's hear it. In my way. What does it mean, in my way? He was baggage? Someone that I could not take into the tower? That was her understanding of Bum, but now he's gonna carry your ass. It annoyed me how much you simped at me. I actually am fine with that. You know what? I agree with this. Rachel's like, I never liked you. Well, I don't know about that, but I am not the person you think I am. Stop fucking chasing after me. You're fucking annoying. You know what? That scene? I'm totally fine. She has all the rights to say what she wants to do. What I fucking despise is how Bomb just keeps fucking chasing after her despite this. That's totally fair from Rachel. Okay. I would. But this is fucking pretty manipulative. I, I, Bomb is not gonna give up on her now. Like, there's no way he's gonna do that. The look in her eye is absolute fucking insane. So I wonder if this is like emotional manipulation we're doing right now. I'm not sure. Everything that led up to this, perfectly fine. But this line at the end, you can abandon me too. I feel like she's trying to fucking tug at her guilt. Huh? You're my god! You taught me how to wipe my ass! 
光の向こう側から僕に会いに来てくれたのは変わりなんていないよ。This is probably making her feel even worse. ごめんなさい。This is weird. I. I. Fuck. I, that whole scene was fucking weird. She was like overwhelmed by the guilt that she has for abandoning him. And then even saying, like, stop chasing after me, you can leave me alone. And Bama's like, nah. I'll still be with you. You're like the stars that you're chasing after for me. And now she's like, shit, I'm sorry, but I, I, I guess we kind of made up here. Did we just make up? We hugged it out. We're cool now. She's not going to be all emo and weird. And now we're going to move forward together, carrying this fucking wheelchair to the top of the tower. <laughs> Drunk hots. Drunk hots, bro. Yo, drunk hots is pretty funny. Endorsey. <laughs> you know, girls can sense different wavelengths, bro. Like, Endorsey can sense something the other guys can't, because she still knows Rachel's probably a fucking rat. What if the entirety of that scene with Rachel and Bum was ruthlessly calculated to manipulate his innocence so that he would fight for her right now even though she felt so guilty for abandoning him and now she realized with ghost gone her teamwork is te her teammates are gone she lost the ability to walk let's take back the dog that i kicked out even though it makes me feel guilty and i'm gonna cry about it and endorsey's like there's something else going on here you think so or do you think we made up i like to see, I like to never expect the best of people. I am a pure pessimist, a realist. I like to assume the absolute worst of people so I can come up with a contingency plan and save my ass. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that Rachel, entire conversation, while it may have been true about her guilt, she used that to emotionally manipulate Bum in the moment where she felt the most alone so she can climb the tower. Thank <laughs> you. Whoa! Hey, that's Seamus' girl, man! Wait, 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 No, 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 no. There's nothing more there. there there's nothing more. I don't, I don't think Lara gives a fuck. That, that's Seamus' girl, though. What the, what the fuck? Yo! Uh. It looks like Serena's leaving, huh? She got her back packed up and she's about to leave. And who shows up? Who shows up to, you know, say goodbye to the fucking end, bro? Yeah, Mr. Tracksuit himself. Then move forward. Oh, her knife? Bye, Serena. That's kind of sad. Shibisu's, Shibisu's girl's gone. Oh. Well, at least she gave him like a party knife. She went out with a smile. And this character arc, you may think that she is just a random fodder that didn't matter to the story, but I think she represents and is a character that a lot of people can relate to quite often you're not the main character you see other people succeed in life and you think that you're nothing and you think that you've you know met the limitations and maybe you're washed and sometimes it's okay to throw in the towel sometimes you don't have to climb this tower sometimes you're meant for something else and even though it sucks it is a good thing to be self-aware of your limitations and understand that maybe i should be doing something else in life so serena's you know, closure here. I think that it's sad, but pretty decent ending for her character and what she's supposed to represent. Also, the rancor in her flashback. Wonder if that ever matters. The design was very unique, but I don't know. So. Letter to one kun, what are they doing? I don't know. Oh, it's him again. <laughs> Who are you talking to? What the fuck is Rice Ball doing? 
he will probably pass. Talking about Black March and Green April. Who the fuck was he talking to right there? They said Zahad, so I'm gonna assume that this is the Zahad Royal Enforcement Division Unit number 67, Lopo BRN, as in, this is a fucking spy from Zahad's place? What? Oh! I thought that was your mouth! I thought these were your eyes! Oh, shit! Oh, I don't know, this, this guy, okay. So he is from Zahad to collect the swords. He infiltrated the testing and just wants the swords back, I, I, I guess? The real Yuga... Oh, oh, the real Yuga actually did look like that, but he probably fucking skinned him alive and now is wearing his skin? Fight with you, Hansa, let's see it! You think this is a fight? How strong is he? An even bigger eel showed up out of nowhere! What the fuck? Does he use summonings? Is that his? This is not a fight. Because fake princess. Plot twist! I, I cannot read this guy. This guy, I, I don't get it. I don't, I, don't, I don't get this guy. Every time I feel like I understand him, he just... Ploop, nope, uh-uh, I do something else. Uh, he's saying he's gonna work with him to return the swords. Maybe he's just doing this to prevent the fight with Zahad and it's just more diplomacy in politics? I'm not sure. That's right. Such as Yuhan Sung then. And let it run now, a suspicion with the conversation before we're talking about, you know, him about, you know, Bomb's existence in the tower and how Yuhan Sung's lied about saying, nah, nah, nah. Our job is to make sure that we have, you know, we're, we're observing them. So right now, Kun is really making let it run think that Yuhan Sung is. Doing what exactly? Well, maybe he did spread the letter. And then his suspicions about talking about the existence of irregulars and maintaining them is also a lie. That's what he's getting thought provoked on? What did the bull break? Is he mad? Is that a warning? Is that a warning? Huh. <laughs> really? There's no other competition? Paracul made it? Paracul- ah. <laughs> This dude just keeps fucking failing upwards. How does he do this? I don't know. He should not be a character that's just still making a 30s round, yet he does. This guy's a built different, dude. Alexei-san. Now, Akuryo-san wa kono ba ni kesseki no tame shikakutos-san. Oh, let's go. Hats-san. Scouts? The... Namitsuka. Because this is the princess that the knight was taking care of, but Endors, he took out the knight. So the princess only has the ignition weapon left. I kind of feel bad for her, bro. Where's her, ba where's her babysitter at? Laure-san. Nice. This guy... Good. Let her fail. Unless Kun has something else cooked up. Then eat shit. Damn, bro literally was like, yeah, are you mad? A skill issue? All right, prove to me right now. Convince me right now to pass. Oh, one minute, one minute. Shinsu blindness. <laughs> I wonder if Paracule has loyalty. Nah, I feel like he's gonna be like, uh, fuck that guy. I'm gonna fucking keep failing upwards. <laughs> and he gets dragged out. 
If you survived that for one minute, though, he could have passed. He, he fucking could have, but then you have like, does not fuck around. This dude is just so raw. What, Rachel, about Michelle? How is he gonna get Rachel involved? Michelle Light. Michelle Light. What? <laughs> Kun Clan doesn't make friends? That's the implication there, right? The Kun Clan? They're all just fucking loners? None of them can make friends? I think that's what the joke was. Basically, probably because they're such a deceptive clan trying to use each other. What? Administrator's test? Let's. Let me take the administrator's test. Uh. This is something I don't know. Holy shit. So Kun's gonna take it too? And the admin is the guy that we made a contract with in the Shinsu test. Oh, that was so out of nowhere. That was... Shimizu did nothing! He just asked, what's going on? And Tor's like, shut the fuck up, bitch! Jesus. What I, do? I mean, Lerudo is aware of this plan. Let's go, Rack. Other condition? What do you mean? I volunteer. Bomb, put your hand fucking up. You are an irregular step up, motherfucker. If Yu Han Sung smiles right now, he planned this shit ahead. I would be willing to fucking bet that this dude got excited because he foresaw the events happening here and wanted Bomb. To be fucking tested against the same test King Zaha did. Why? Because I think that this motherfucker is trying to smuggle an irregular into the tower and his allegiance with Zahad? Fake. Fake. This dude has been incredibly sus. Everything has been lining up. Now, the thing that he did with Poe, Ren or whatever, that Tokebi looking thing, right? In the earlier scene saying that I am simply on Zahad's side. Maybe this makes sense. Because he's trying to make sure that Zaha, he's on Zahad good side, right? It's like, keep your friends closer, your enemies closer. So he's trying to appeal to them while doing this shit behind the fucking scenes. I think that this can make sense. Oh, I've been fucking listening, all right. No! Damn, I guess no one really knew, huh? No one knew. Lerudo is the only one that knew. Lerudo knew? Rachel, uh, is Rachel an irregular, by the way? Rachel's not, right? I is Rachel a regular or an irregular? Don't give me yes or no answers. I don't know what answer you're asking. You're I don't know what answer you're, you're, you're... I don't know what answer... I don't know what question you're answering. Rachel is also an irregular? Are we not supposed to know this? Am I asking for spoilers? Anyways. Bomb is an irregular. This is all fucking known, but obviously this is a secret that no one should have known. Laude doesn't give a fuck. He slept through it. See how happy and excited he is now. That's why he was so fucking excited. He fucking knew this. So he then anticipated that Kun and Leroy would have this dialogue to like attempt to take the fucking test to get Rachel involved. The letter? What? No, 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 no. This is like, this is like 13 different assumptions lining up. But like, the letter was sent by Hwarian from Yu Han Sung, such that Rachel would get stabbed by Ho, such that she would be put out of this test, but they knew Rachel would make it, and then he knows the importance of Rachel with Bomb, and then he knew that Kun loves Bomb, and then he knew that Kun would then attempt to do this, and then he was like, yep, and then that's when Bomb comes, and there's... This is, like, the amount of... There is no contradiction here. Everything lines up, but the amount of things that had to be assumed to line up is crazy. Did he actually do it? Like, like, this is crazy. This is an absolute, like, 
I want to believe this and the pieces are making sense but sometimes I feel like I have a narrative that I want to exist and then I work backwards to try to piece the puzzle together and sometimes it does work oftentimes it doesn't but this time I feel like there's no holes in the puzzles now that we understand his motives it, 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 every action he took even the letter is making sense now what is this test with the admin you just go talk to him that princess is getting so many lines now. That's right, they forced the tower to open. A great calamity, bro. You know what? I kind of wanna. Fuck it. I, I, I don't know. The whole like prestige of an irregular is so fucking cool. I'd want to team up and be like this like hidden faction of irregulars. Even like Urek Mazino and his sign, right? His symbol, bro. Like, fuck it. Fuck, fuck these like, regular pussies, bro. I'm joining Urek, bro, if I can. <laughs> I don't know if this is Giga based or not. I, 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 I don't fucking know if this is fucking Giga based that he's like an irregular. I'm beyond an irregular, bro. Lying, lying. Power, baby. Shibisu too smart. This entire thing was a fucking act, of course. This Shibisu fucking knew immediately. <laughs> I am surprised this girl's getting so many lines this episode now, because like Any News has said that this character is important because she's a royal and like the knight guy, right? But then she never said anything until today, and then now the night's gone. Now she has the ignition weapon, but like, I guess she's kind of like really important if she's gonna be joining our core group, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Did he? <laughs> Did he play along with Kun to further, you know, you know, rally everyone together? Maybe? I don't know, maybe? <laughs> Gone? The test! Admin! It's you again! Sup? And that is today's episode of Tower of God and while there was a shitload of yapping, I think this yapping was very interesting. So let's break it down. Uh, the conversation with... Uh, the conversation with Rachel and Bum, I think this is really interesting because she actually shows guilt and then she says like, you can abandon me now too. But I wonder if she's emotionally manipulating Bum because she realizes she has no one else to leech off of. Ghost is gone, Endor C doesn't trust her. So what is Rachel's best decision when she's left alone crippled like this? Latch onto Bum and manipulate him, man uh, fucking abuse him and just get him back? I'm not sure. Serena's uh, chapter end is sad, but uh, very realistic and... um good representation of quote-unquote NPC characters because not everyone can be, you know, fighting along so to side with Bomb. There are going to be some just ordinary average people that understands their limitations and has to move on. So I thought that was kind of a good little character to represent that kind of archetype. Shibisu, but still staying on. He got the knife to carry forward. There is a Zahad uh, spy in here. He's trying to get rid of Anaka's false princess and return the princess series, right? Black March and Green April. Now, Yu Han Sung says that, nah, I'm on your side. I'm on your side. I think he's capping. I think he's just saying this so that Zahad, you know, their radars don't go off the sus meter and he can continue to do what exactly? Bro, in the beginning, has been interested in Bomb and he's basically 
not grooming him, but positioning him to be this force that will, what, bring calamity into the tower? I mean, everyone's been saying, as soon as an irregular shows up, there's always been a great calamity, right? So, with his conversation with Leroro, the fact that he got excited, and the way he was talking to Kun, and then making, almost making it seem like Bomb had to, you know, say, oh, I'm an irregular, I'll do that test. It all just seems to piece together. The letter didn't make sense a couple episodes ago because it seems to kind of hurt Bum. But the end result was Rachel getting fucked up and then Kun having to force a play where he's going to take Zahad's test. But now, I think that while it's pretty... I think it's pretty likely, but I'm really reaching here. There's a lot of assumptions to go by. But if these assumptions are all fucking good, then it does make sense that he sent Hwarion to take that letter so that Rachel gets fucked up, so that this ultimately happened for Bam to take the admins test. And if Bam can surpass the test that King Zahad also did, I don't think it really matters whether or not Rachel can participate in the test, but more like, is he being positioned to be the new king of the tower? Like, Yu Hansung is fed up with the politics of the tower. He's been waiting to see some people that can overthrow the current existing. And he sees Bomb as a candidate that could potentially do so. And that's why he's pushing for all of this to further test Bomb's limits? I don't know, but that's what's highly seeming like. And that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't do this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time. Take care.